tutorial, we will discuss how to make a spleen, how to make an ellipse, how to make a three-point arc, and how to draw a straight slot, and how to draw a polygonal, and how we specify the point, and how we can write a text. So first, change the unit from IPS to MMGS. Now click on a sketch, choose front plane, now select the spleen command. Now specify the point, first point, second point, third point, fourth, fifth, and so on. Now escape it. Now this is the, there are several points as you see here. So you can change the plan. Look here, there are several points in the spleen. So by using this point, you can change the spleen curve. Like hold it, click on this point, and hold your mouse, and move your mouse up and down. As you see here, there is a changing spleen curve. Now click on OK. Now go to the style spleen command. This is also similar to the spleen command. Click on first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, then exit. Now see, this is quite similar to the spleen command. Now next one is the three-point arc. Click on three-point arc. Now specify first point, second point, and third point. Look here, you can also make a constant of this arc like the radius you want to convert it into 40 into and the angle you want to make uh, suppose 160 degree so here you can also constrain it now it is fully defined now click on ok now choose tangent arc so for making a tangent arc we need to draw two lines. Suppose this one line, this is one line. This is second line. Now choose tangent arc. Click on first point. Click on second point. Press escape to exit from this command or directly click OK. Now next one is the three-point arc. So click three-point arc, click first point, click second point, and click third point. Like this you can make the three-point arc. Press escape or OK to exit from this command. Now next is the ellipse. Now click on ellipse, first point, then one radius, then another radius. Now you can also change the value of the radius from here. Suppose the major radius is 100 and the minor radius, suppose we take 40. So by this you can make an ellipse. Now click OK. Next is the partial ellipse. So for making a partial ellipse, click on first point, then second point, and then third point, and how much ellipse you want to make, that click here. This is the half of the ellipse. If you want to make a two-third, again click first point, second point, third point, and fourth point. Click OK. Next one is the parabola. Click first point and second point, third point. From here you make a parabola like this, fourth point. Next one is the conic. This is quite similar to the parabola. First point, second point, third point, and fourth point. 
Now see here there are two points that one point is for elongation of parabola like this and one point is for moving the parabola from one position to another position like this. Now next one is the straight slot. So first delete all this. Select all, delete. Now go to the straight slot. Look here, there are four types of straight slot. Here also four type of straight slot. So these four both are same. Either you can go from here or you can go from here. First straight slot. This is also a straight slot. Now for making this straight slot, first click on first point, now click the distance between these two points, suppose uh, this is the distance and make a radius, third point. Now you can also define this from here, suppose the radius I want 100 and the distance between two lines is 250. So by this you can define it. Now next one is the center length, center point straight slot. Click on this. Now again, center point. Now in both sides it will go. Click on second point. Now make a radius. Click on third point. Again you can define it from here. 60 and the point distance is 120 okay now next is the three point arc slot so again you need to three point first point second point and the radius major radius third point and minor radius fourth point Now you can also change the radius. This is the major radius. If you want to make it 250 and the angle 90 degree, okay. And uh, here the distance is uh, 80 and uh, two point radius distance is 400. So this is fully defined. Now next is the center point arc slot. Click on first point, second point, and uh, third point, fourth point. Now again you specify the radius, it will become 200, angle will become 150 degree, the distance is 140, and the measured distance is 500. Now this is fully defined, click and OK. Now the next command is the polygonal command. So for making the polygonal first we delete it. Select all, delete. Now go for polygonal command. Now here the number of side is asking. Suppose the side is five or if you want it, it becomes six. Then the two option is that. One is the inscribed circle, one is the circumscribed circle specify the first point and second point now this is inscribe the circle that means the circle here you it drawn inside the polygonal if I choose some circumscribed circle the polygonal is made under the circle now inscribe circle This is nothing but the diameter that if you want to make it 200. Okay, now make a smart dimension. Just modify it, it will become 120. Now it is fully defined. Press OK. Now again go for polyno. 
now again go for polygonal 10 circumscribed first point second point the distance this is the radius go to the smart dimension One hundred. Now it is fully defined. Press OK. Now see here. This is the circles. So by this you can make a polygonal. Now next command is the text. So how you can write the text? So for writing the text, we need to make curve first. So let us take that three point arc, first point, second point, and third point. Press OK. Now choose text. Now here arc. This arc is chosen. Now write the text. Suppose I'm writing the text that is solid work. Bold, italic, and this is the left align, center align, and right align. And this one is fully justified. If you do the fully justify. It will write the on the entire curve. Now, if you do the left align, middle align, and right align, suppose I want to do left align, click OK. Now you see how we can write the text in the solid work. Now, next command is the point command. Click on point command. Now, just clicking anywhere on the screen point is formed now next command is the sketch fillet and chamfer there are two command one is sketch fillet and sketch chamfer so how we can do the fillet and chamfer first delete it select all delete Choose a line press step for exit from the line command. Now choose the fillet. Now here entities to be fillet. First select this line, second select this line. So here you see there is a yellow of Now see here, there is yellow curve is formed, so you can increase the radius from here, 10, 20, now click OK. Now you see the fillet occurs. Again, if you want to do the fillet from this point, from this line to this line, again select this line and this line, again then this line and this line, this line and this line, this line and this line. Okay. Now next command is the chamfer. First make a geometry like select line. Now select this line and select this line and make a relation perpendicular. Click OK. Now 
now select the command chamfer once you select the command chamfer here one is the angle distance and another is the distance distance and distance distance that is select one line and another line you see here this is one distance and this is another distance from both the side equal distance if you uncheck it you can change the distance from or you can vary the distance from both the side suppose in this side i want uh, to do the jam for 20 click ok just a minute oh again we have to select the line for this so first line and second line and here is the 20 and 10 now you see here the one distance is vary there is no equal distance so this is the distance distance chamber so equal distance again distance distance select one line another line now select angle distance now one side we provide a distance and another side we provide a angle suppose one line and second line here this is the 20 distance and we there is an angle of 45 degrees suppose it will 50 degree now again select one line and second line now see here the angle 50 degree and one side is 20 degree so by this we can make the chamfer select all delete now go for trim command there is a two command inside trim one is trim entities another one is extend entities so let's make a geometry first click on the line make a circle there is a corner radius now go for trim now see here there are four options one is the power trim one is the corner trim one is the trim away inside and one is the trim away outside next is trim to closes now this is the power trim so how we can use the power trim now select the power trim now click on the left click on the mouse and uh, drag it now see by this we can remove the line next one is the trim to closest okay for this we have to make the geometry now again select trim entities now trim to closest now if you want to trim this line just click on this line if you want to trim this line just click on this line click on this line and click so by this we can do the trim to closes. Now next command is the corner. So for corner, first draw the geometry. Now choose trim entities, trim corner command, first line this, second line this, first this, second this, first, second. Like this you can remove the exterior geometry. First we will delete it. 
select all delete now next command is the stream inside stream away inside so for this let's make a geometry Now select stream, stream away inside. For using this stream away inside, first you specify the boundary. Suppose first this boundary and second this boundary. Now click the line. This is so here the inside will be trim out between these two lines. Now click OK. Now control all delete hello 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 my check now next command is the stream away outside for this first make a geometry for this this is a rectangle now go to the trim entities select trim away outside Again, we have to specify the boundary, first boundary and second boundary. Now, remove this line and this line. Automatically removing by clicking. So, from this you can trim away the outside. Now, click OK. Now, trim extend. For this, first make a geometry. Select all delete now make a rectangle again make a line now click on extend entities now select this point automatically it will extend it now Now next one is the offset entities. So suppose this is the line. And if you want to create a line, the same line on the top or the bottom. So instead of creating the line by using a line command, we can directly take the offset command. Offset entities. Now specify the distance, how much distance. Now here the one option is the bi-direction. If you choose a bi-direction in both the side, this line will be created. Choose bi-direction option, increase the distance. Now click on OK. So you can make the offset. Now select all and delete. Now next command we will discuss in the next class.